What's up people of YouTube, Spory here and back with another AMV tutorial. Yeah, it's been a while since I did the last one, basically because I'm running out of ideas. So first of all, if you have any good ideas you want me to teach you or show you, comment below and let me know what you want to see. And today we're going to be looking at nesting clips. And what that means is you pick like a bunch of clips. You right click and you nest them. Now what that does is combining all of them into a new sequence and the sequence is basically the thing you're editing on right here. So what you're doing is you like you're picking clips, you press nest, now it's changed over to this green thing and if I go over here so you can see in the like project files nested sequence 8. You double click it and here's your clips edited just as you did it before. So it basically just takes the clips, combines them into a new sequence. Yeah, that's what it does. So why would you nest things? Well, basically it's because it's another way of doing overlapping effects over the entirety of clips like you do with an adjustment layer. But without using an adjustment layer, you nest it instead, put the effects straight onto the clip. What that does is it can do it can basically do effects without having to use an adjustment layer it can help you with like if you want to do overlapping transformation effects like for instance over in this clip right here i did some edits to make it faster and since i wanted to do like uh as you can see up here on the scale um i wanted to make like a slow zoom in effect so that was gonna gonna be quite tricky if I had the two clips and had to manually on both clips do like a overlapping scale on it. So I instead nested it, put a scale on the entire thing, and yeah, much easier. So if we're ever going to use transformation effects like position scale, rotation over a, a couple of clips, nest them, and that's how you solve that. Um, nesting is also ways to fix several problems that adjustment layers uh, can like mess up or stuff like that for example over here uh, on this clip right here i'm going to play it for you now what i've done is like i've decreased the saturation over a time you can see over here if i play it again then bring the saturation back. I tried to do this with an adjustment layer and I had really big problems with it. It's just kept messing up and stuff like that. So I have the clips over here with an adjustment layer, the same effect as you can see with saturation. But if I play it over here, nothing's happening. And what, 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 what happened? It just started right at this, between these clips. So I was really confused what was going on. I couldn't figure it out. So I was like, let's just nest it and see if that works and that worked for some reason so if like adjustment layers or any effects are causing you problems i know for a fact like the twitch effect sometimes does weird things with the times so if if i were to like i don't know if i can like get the twitch effect on this clip i think the time will mess up uh, if i enable Maybe not this time then, but I know for a fact that happens sometimes. So yeah, nesting is a good way to know how to fix problems. So um, as you can see, it's pretty simple as I did over here. You just pick some clips, right click and nest it. If you have done any like major editing, like I did for this clip over here, it's like a couple of clips in a quick succession. What I usually do is I just copy them uh, like control C, control V. I copy them over to another place on the timeline so I have them if I need them later once I've nested something because you never know what happens something might mess up or you want to return to your old state or something like that if you don't save it on the timeline you still have it in the sequence you can like control C control V from over there but I like to have them on the same timeline if something happens it basically is just you combine clip and then you can do overlapping effects like if you have a small zoom or whatever but one thing you 
might not notice when I did this nested sequence is if you're having like any transition, if you do an edit and then have some transitions for like over here, there's effects on everyone, but I want these two clips to combine. I nest them and I go into the new nested sequence. I still have the transition in the middle between the clips. So that's still the same. However, there's no transition between the nested sequence and the other the other clips from earlier. So what I usually do is just go pull it up a layer, layer or two, because now you can see you can't drag it out any further because the clips in here are that length. So what you need to do if you want to transition to nested sequences or move it over a bit, like a couple of frames. And then what I do, I go back, I drag this out, and then I find the where the clip starts again, for example, right here, I think. Yeah, it is. And then I go back into this, drag that clip out, go back, extend that one. So you don't have to extend it since we already know that's more over there. But what you do then is go this, this, and then go back and you extend this. So you have the start of the clip. And then you just go back and do whatever whatever transition you want to use. For example, like I'm just gonna do a cross like this, and then you drag it over like that. And then you and then that's how you transition with the nested clips. So make sure you drag them out. But stick with the timing if you already done the editing pretty important since I just messed that up over there but yeah that's how you like nest stuff and it will help you a lot with uh, effects that are keep messing up or if you just want to do like transition effects since that's really tricky if you're doing it over a couple of different clips and it's not like adjustment layers won't do that since they are just for like other effects so if you're using transition effects, nest it. If you want to fix some problem, try nesting it. If you're using like Twitch or anything else. If you just want to have a like overarching effect over a bunch of clips, might want to nest it. You can either put the clip right on the nested sequence or you can put the effects in here on the clips individually. So yeah, there's a lot of different things you can do with nesting. So yep, basically that's it. I hope this helps you with figuring out some problems or if you just want to do better editing things. Again, if you have any ideas for future tutorials you want to see or stuff you want me to explain to you, comment below, comment your different works to me. I like to watch them and give you feedback. So yeah, until next time guys. See ya!